News 8 continues to honor our Jefferson Award winners. Tonight's honoree comes from York County. She is just 17 years old, but she has some pretty big plans. And as News 8's Lori Burkholder reports, it all started with a class project. We will be filming our movies. I brought a big box of costumes that you all can use if they fit your characters. Ooh, this is a little cape, kind of. Oh. Rose Arbatier doesn't go home after the school bell rings at Dallas Town High. Is it too tight? Is it okay? Yeah. This 17-year-old okay. runs Rosie's class. I like it. Something that started two years ago as a class project. Because I thought that there was really a need for it. And um, once I did the business plan, I was kind of like, I really want to do this. You look like an awesome supervillain. So once a week, Rose, along with her team of friends, run an after-school club for students with special needs. She has done such remarkable things with these kids. I expect her to go far. I really do. At school, a lot of their academic needs are met, but they don't really get to choose what they like to do. Yeah, Mackenzie! And they also don't really get to interact with the kids that are outside of the special education good rooms. Screaming, good dancing. What started with just three students has more than tripled in size. That was perfect. And the wow. impact it's having on students is priceless. Didn't we do that one? We had this girl, and she was very, very shy. And um, towards the end of last year, we had a talent show, and she actually went on stage and sang Let It Go from Frozen by herself. That girl is Jordan Scarpelli, and yeah. isn't shy sharing what Rose means to her. Makes you feel more happy. I am so rewarded by doing this. That was News 8's Lori Burkholder reporting. Rose, by the way, graduates this year, but as volunteers taking her place next year as she heads off to college. Her goal is to make Rosie's class a national program. Next week, we're going to meet Cynthia Kettering, the Jefferson Award winner from Lancaster County. See how her home country is helping her give a voice to the Latino community. Man, that was a good story. All right, the bust of President Abraham Lincoln stolen.